From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Mining technology company Dwyka Mining Services has conducted what it claims is the first autonomy level 2 flight in South Africa using a drone mounted light detection and ranging payload fitted to a drone. Donna Slater tells us more. To begin the rollout of using the Emerson's hover map payload in South Africa, Dwyka Mining Services conducted a trial run of the new LiDAR technology at an empty warehouse in Lanseria early in October. Several flights were conducted over a DIY obstacle course in a GPS denied environment. This saw the hover map payload conducting scans of the room prior to takeoff to get a sense of its surroundings, following which it undertook pre planned autonomous test flights. Dwyka Mining Services CEO Jamie van Squirt tells us more. So this exciting piece of new technology is uh, from an OEM in Brisbane uh, called Emerson and it uh, enables GPS denied flight, uh, it's drone optimized and it's allowing us to essentially fly drones in underground GPS denied environments. That enables us to, obviously we being underground, no satellite connectivity which is characteristic with flying drones, uh, we're able to take these uh, to map the inaccessible. So mines are characteristically focused on safety improvements, uh, workflow optimization uh, and efficiencies. Um, as far as scanning is concerned, uh, getting underground visualization is a key part of adopting digitalization and the new journey that many of our clients are going on. Um, visualization is a, a huge part of that. The ability to drive visualization is a huge function of, our, of the new digitalization journeys that many of our clients are, are embarking on. You can't see what you can't see until now. And uh, this drone optimized, handheld optimized uh, piece of equipment is really useful to map those environments. Jamie also tells Crema Media about the potential clientele that could benefit from using LiDAR to map, and more specifically about the hover map technology. Dwyka Mining Services is a technology platform servicing the, the mining industry, is uh, a, a key clientele for us in this. Uh, hover map GPS denied uh, capability. We are servicing the underground mining community, um, but uh, from an Emerson hover map perspective, there's a lot of applications which uh, lend themselves towards GPS denied scanning. So civils, BIM, under, uh, undercover bridges, internal warehousing, indoor um, forestry applications. There are a number of uh, industries that could benefit from mapping previously inaccessible arenas. Excitingly uh, pioneering this uh, capability and technology in Africa uh, with our partners Emerson. So unfortunately I can't take credit for being the first in Africa because we have a valued client uh, operating the hover map extensively underground in their gold mine uh, in the DRC and um, been tracking that closely and trying to keep pace with them. Today was the first uh, AL2 flying uh, in South Africa and uh, we have a lot of excitement, a lot of excited clients now uh, looking forward to adopting this capability. Um, essentially taking a lot of the, the pain points around pilots and flying um, in very challenging environments. The GPS denied LiDAR capability of the Emerson hover map is certainly giving a lot more coverage, spread and uh, incredibly a, a incredible amount of detail because of its high resolution scanning capability. So it's pushing out at least 300,000 points per second and in do doing so is giving a, a huge picture that was previously not being able to be painted. Explaining how the payload works, Jamie provides a quick demonstration. So as we turned it on, we're waiting for the light to blink blue. That's when you know we'll be ready to start scanning. This payload is unique in the fact that while it's drone optimized, we can also start using it for handheld scanning. We can attach it to car mounts. Um, which is a, certainly a huge value proposition for our clients. Those that do not operate drones are able to take this into development ends, into workings, uh, and to map previously inaccessible locations. As you can start seeing, we're working through the, the process. Blinking orange, it's thinking, and now with Emerson Blue, we'll start the scan. And at the moment, you're being painted with 300,000 points per second. This is creating a vivid point cloud using LiDAR technology, uh, a first for South African mines and certainly a value proposition to drive safety and productivity to the underground working of uh, on the continent.
That's Krimi Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News Daily Email Newsletter.